the scope resolution operator, represented by two colons, is both a unary and binary operator. It is used to extend the accessibility and to override the characteristics of variables, functions, class, and objects that are stored globally for use in the local area of a program. For example, we have recently used the STD see out hello statement. Here, the STD namespace makes use of the two colon scope resolution operator to point towards its library object named see out that prints the message hello onto the computer screen. Program 10. Declare an integer variable n, both as local and global variable, with different values. Print both the values of n. So here is our program visualizing panel. We have the program code. And I have saved it as 10.cpp. We have two memory storage locations. One is for the global variable, and the other is for local variable. The output screen will preview our input-output operations. OK, let's start. On line 2, we declare integer variable n with value 15. Since it's declared outside the main function, this variable named n will be the global variable. So it's stored in the memory storage unit for global variable named n. We then declare another variable with same name n inside the main function. It's assigned value 9. So the memory storage unit for local variable named n stores 9. On lines 6 and 7, we have instructed to see out or to print both these values. So first, the local variable n is printed with the see out n command as we normally do. Local value of n equals 9 is printed. Then backslash n prints the new line. And control goes to next line on the output screen. Next, we see out the value of global variable n using the scope resolution operator to print the value of global variable n. This scope resolution operator overrides the value of local variable n, which is 9, and instead considers the value stored in global variable n, which is 15. So we now have the output, global value of n equals 15. Let's move over to the next major list of operators. The address operator ampersand and the pointer operator, asterisk. Address operator, or the address of operator, ampersand, is a unary operator that fetches the address of a variable. Pointer operator, asterisk, is a unary operator that points to the value stored within a particular memory address. It is also called the value at operator, or the indirection operator. Ampersand n is an example of the address operator, which fetches the address of memory location, named n. The asterisk, ampersand n, points to the value stored within a memory address, specified by, ampersand n, or, address of n. Now, let's understand this concept with a simple program. Let's declare integer i, equals 18. Print the value of i, using pointers. Also print physical memory address of i. So here we go. On the program visualizing panel, we have the sections for program code, memory storage, and output screen. I have named our program as 11.cpp. Note that on line 2, I have declared the statement using namespace std. Hence in this program, I will be using the cout statement without specifying the scope resolution operator double colon. On line 5, we declare int i, comma asterisk of p. So, memory space to store the variable i, and a pointer named p, to store address of an integer, are physically created. On line 6, we have p, equals ampersand of i. This means, store the physical address of i, to the pointer, p. So the physical address of i, is stored in the pointer p. On line 7, we assign the value 18 to i. On line 8, we instruct the computer to print the value of i with the usual see out i statement. And so, on the output screen, we have it printed. On line 9 it says, print the value within memory location that the pointer p is pointing to. p is pointing to variable i. So here, the value of i is printed. On line 10, we are printing the physical address of integer variable i 
using the address operator, ampersand of i. On line 11, we are printing the physical address of integer variable i, by invoking it from the address that is stored in pointer, p. I hope this makes sense.